with the theme beyond 16 days 365 days of action to prevent and eliminate violence against women and girls in Edo State. The one day stakeholders workshop organized by the Edo State Ministry of Youth and Gender Issues in collaboration with GIZ is aimed at totally eradicating the scourge of gender based violence from Edo State. Edo State First Lady and Chairperson Edo State Gender Based Violence Management Committee, Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, explained that. Edo State has zero tolerance to gender-based violence issues, and as such, all hands must be on deck to tackle the scourge. In that first year, one of the things we came up with as a communique was that every state must set up a GBV committee, and it must be chaired by the wives of the governors. And um, at the same time, the Minister for Women Affairs was also pushing and then with us doing ours, we came together and then she took the matter to the Federal Executive Council where the president then issued the decree. We also pushed that every state must um, domesticate the Violence Against People's Prohibition Act, which had been um, promulgated many, many years ago. But very few states had, had um, implemented in their states. At the time, Edo had already implemented because we, we did ours in 2017. Edo State Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, commended the First Lady, Betsy Obaseki, for a leading role in the area of gender-based violence in the state and appealed to traditional institutions to assist governments in enlightening those in their domain as a way of fighting the scourge. We took upon ourselves that we must institutionalize things like this to make them permanent and legal so that the judiciary also arms will not be tied against taking certain decisions. We are also aware that for these things to work out, Sitting at the table just now, I got some comment. Associations have to also play their role. And so all of us have a duty to make gender-based violence actually free in our society. Commissioner for Youth and Gender Issues, Honorable Andrew Enwanta says, over 254 sexual-based violence cases have been reported in the state and 39 convictions so far and announced that Edo State is developing a sexual harassment policy that will punish offenders of gender-based violence. 2020, the Edo State Sexual Offenders Register was launched through the support of Our Excellency. And as we speak, we have secured so far 39 convictions with over 254 reported cases. The Edo State Government is very committed in dealing with this problem of gender-based violence. In our 2023 budget, we have allocations specifically for the activities of the Edo State Gender-Based Management Committee under the leadership of Our Excellency. There was goodwill message from the team leader, GIS Sky, Dr. Detlef Bath. The stakeholders workshop featured panel discussion on utilizing the power of data for gender-based violence, prevention and support to survivors in Edo States. Friday Himoto, EBS News.